So one question I get asked a lot about uh, my setup and, and short shifters in general is, you know, what kind of short shifter should I use for my prelude? Uh, you know, what, what will work the best? And honestly, um, no one makes a true short shifter uh, for our cars. Um, a true short shifter will reduce side to side and front to back uh, play um, and movement um, by changing the, the fulcrum points of the shift linkage. Uh, but no shift linkages do that for the Honda Prelude. They only reduce uh, front to rearward uh, shift movement. Um, there are companies out there that make uh, shifter setups that will work with some modifications such as K-Tuned and, and some other companies out there. Uh, but you're looking at 500 bucks, if not more, for a custom uh, billet uh, assembly. Uh, what I'm showing you here is uh, the modifications I have done to the factory Prelude shifter um, that not only has reduced the front to rear uh, sh uh, shifter movement, but also the side to side play. Uh, the side to side play makes a big difference um, in just the way you drive your car every day, as you can imagine. Um, what I've actually done here is, uh, of course, on your main linkage, the higher up you get the pivot point, the shorter the, the shift goes. Um, same thing applies for the secondary linkage as well. With the secondary linkage, the longer you can get the arm, um, while it does take more effort, it will decrease the side-to-side -side play. No one makes an adapter for our cars that, that allows you to do that. Um, with this setup... Um, I've reduced side-to-side -side play by about 20 to 25 percent, um, and I've been able to kind of tune it in and dial it in um, by increasing the length of the secondary linkage arm um, with just some stuff I had laying around the shop and a, a little bit of basic welding. Um, you can also see here I've, I've modified my linkages to use uh, spherical bearings as well. Um, that was a pretty major modification that I did to the stock linkages that allows for zero... Uh, play in the linkage while at the same time still allowing the linkage to move in, uh, in, 300, in three, three dimensions basically. Um, when you replace your bushings with those solid bushings or those solid aluminum bushings, um, they only allow for uh, two dimensions of movement. Um, when the linkage doesn't move in just two dimensions, it moves in three dimensions and you can get a lot of uh, linkage binding uh, when you're not careful by using some solid bushings. Um, but with these spherical bearings here are also called heme joints. Um, they're self-lubricating. Um, you never have to service them. And um, again, zero play, both on the transmission side and on the linkage side here inside the car. Um, and as you can see, it, it, just, it just modified a stock shifter. You don't have to do too much to it. If you have a, a basic grinder and, and, a, and a basic welder, you can do this yourself. Um, this has definitely helped uh, reduce shift times, uh, just shift timing. Um, people have complained that it may be too short of a shift. Um, that's all opinion based. I love it. You can see here in the video, um, you can run through the gears very quickly. The gears just pop right into gear as you go. If you have a lightened flywheel and a an aftermarket clutch, you'll definitely notice uh, you know, a good improvement in just driving around town as well. And one thing you can also do is with the shift knob itself, um, you can use a taller shift knob um, to adjust the effort point back closer to the factory if that's what you wanted to do. Um, and also too, if you're a road racer or even a drag racer, the closer you can get that shift knob to your steering wheel, um, the less movement your arm has to do to, to shift gears you know while you're going through turns or while you're handling the car and you know a little bit of adjustability like that will gives you the freedom to to make the linkage as short as you want to and then you can make the shifter as long as you need to uh, to your preference of effort um, I would say thank you guys this has just been a little video I put together I, I get asked a lot of questions about this if you have any questions or comments or any ways I can improve my design or what you've done uh, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you.